Hello, I'm Bar Terlay with Fairway First Team. As a mortgage loan officer, I see a lot of different um, people coming to me talking about, you know, hey, I'd love to get a home, but I don't have any money. I'm not sure where my credit is. I'm not sure what the options are. Well, as a mortgage professional, that's really my job is come to me with the desire, come to me with, you know, hey, how do we make this work? Sometimes it's, hey, let's take a look at your situation. You're good to go. I need the following documents. We're gonna run your credit and you're gonna be out shopping in a day. Other ones are, you know, hey, you've got a credit challenge. Let's see if we can get that thing cleaned up because you're gonna get a much better loan uh, if we can get that one or two items cl cleaned up off your credit. But the most common one that I hear uh, really is, I think I've got okay credit. I've got a good job. Um, I just don't have a lot of money saved up. Well, one of the states that, that we loan in is Washington State. And Washington State uh, has a unique program uh, that's really kind of envied uh, by many states around the country. It's uh, sponsored by the Washington State uh, Housing and Finance Commission. It's commonly referred to as the Washington Bond Loan. Um, again, that's more of a slang term than the actual loan itself. But um, in this program, it acts as a silent second as a percentage of the loan amount, so either four or five percent. And by a silent second, what I mean, what I mean by that is that um, they are going to loan you a set, a set amount of money, either four or five percent, uh, to help cover the down payment and a little bit left over to help with, with some of the closing costs. So like in the case of a um, FHA loan, that's a 3.5 percent down minimum. Uh, and if you can get a 4% down payment assistance, then that covers the entire down payment. So now that's going to leave your closing costs, uh, which also include the prepaid for taxes and insurance that go into the escrow account. But this money um, will help you cover that big portion of it, uh, which could be thousands and thousands of dollars. So, you know, we've done them anywhere as low as six and $7,000 as that um, silent second through the Washington bond loan. And I've seen them as high as 20,000. So there's a variety of, of, of that, that that can happen in there for you. And it, again, it's all based upon a percentage of the loan amount. But the other nice thing about that, it doesn't accrue interest. So in other words, let's say it's a $10,000 second. It doesn't accrue interest. So when you go to pay it back, it is still $10,000. Kind of cool. The other nice thing about it is you don't make payments on it. And what I mean by that is that will sit there as a second loan against your home until one of three things happen until you refinance the home, then it needs to be paid off. You sell the home, it needs to be paid off. Or at the end of the term, which is typically a 15 or 30 year, once that loan is over, your primary loan, then that needs to be paid off. So, you know, uh, there, that is a very, very positive thing that has helped many people. There is a little bit of a negative on it that sometimes those rates are gonna be higher than market on your primary loan because it's a very specific loan on the primary and a very specific loan on the secondary. But again, this is a great, great tool that we help many, many families every month use this tool to get into the home. Um, another great example is, you know, we'll put someone into the home, they get in very, very low money down of their own, out of their own pocket. Um, and then we wait about a year one, one to two years and we come back and we look at it, does it make sense to refinance to get you a better interest rate? And obviously in today's market, those rates are being held down uh, artificially uh, by the feds and, and back through our different lending partners. So that really makes it kind of advantageous to, should I stay where I am and rent? Should I stay where I am living with mom and dad? Or should I go out and buy a home? Well, since there are programs out there like this, that can be really attractive to help you not only get out of your current situation and get, get into the home, which of course is the American dream, it will also allow you to start building equity. And equity through a home has been historically a great, great way to help build net worth. So again, rent versus own, that's a completely different subject, which obviously, um, you know, building wealth is a great thing and the independence that comes with it. But is now the right time. Well, with tools like the Down Payment Assistance Program through the Washington State uh, Department of uh, Housing and Finance, that is a great thing for you to consider. So reach out to me, let's have that conversation. Let me describe to you exactly what that is and what the process is. It's really pretty simple, but it's a great tool uh, in order to, to get you into that home much sooner than you may think. Reach out again, uh, my phone number's here, and let's have that conversation. Let, how about making an informed decision, and let's see if we can get you into home very soon. Thank you.